George IV was born in St. James's Palace in London on the 12th of August 1762. He was the eldest child of George III and his wife Charlotte of Mecklenburg Strelitz. He had 14 siblings. As the eldest son of the King, George was given the title of Prince of Wales a few days after his birth. He was academically gifted and had a knack for languages. He learned to speak French, German and Italian fluently alongside his native English. When he turned 18, George was given a separate estate to live in and threw himself into scandal very quickly. He loved to drink and loved women. His love for extravagance put him at odds with his father and mother who lived generally scandal free. Soon, George fell in love with Maria Fitzherbert, a widowed Catholic commoner, six years older than him. Because of the Act of Settlement 1701 and the Royal Marriages Act of 1772, he was unable to marry her by law due to her being a Catholic and not obtaining the King's consent. Despite this, the couple married in a secret ceremony in 1785. However, this marriage was null and void as the king's consent had not been sought nor given. Even though he had a large annual income, it was not enough to cover his living expenses. George's father refused to help him and George had to move into Maria's home. The political allies of the prince helped him to obtain a huge grant from Parliament, which paid for his debts and home improvements. In 1788, George III's mental health deteriorated and he was unable to carry out his duties. Parliament was suspended for a period of two months and when Parliament reconvened, the King was unable to open Parliament. As such, Parliament passed the Regency Bill, which allowed the Prince of Wales to act as a regent on behalf of his father. However, by this point the king had recovered and the Prince of Wales did not need to become regent. As George's debts grew, his father offered him an ultimatum. Marry Princess Caroline of Brunswick and his debts would be paid. The prince agreed and on the 8th of April 1795, George and Caroline were wed. Because George's marriage to Maria Fitzherbert was not considered legal, George was able to marry Caroline. The marriage was unhappy and the couple were not compatible. However, they did their duty and their only child, Princess Charlotte, was born in 1796. After the birth of their daughter, the couple remained separated and George continued to liaise with his various mistresses and Maria Fitzherbert. George was rumoured to have had several illegitimate children, including James Ord, who was a Jesuit priest, Captain Henry A. F. Hervey, Major George Seymour Kroll, William Hampshire and Charles Bow Candy. However, he never explicitly claimed them as his children, so it's only speculation. In 1804, George and Caroline fought over the custody of their daughter. This dispute led to an inquiry being made into Princess Caroline's conduct after George accused her of adultery, resulting in the birth of an illegitimate son. Their daughter was eventually placed in the care of George III and Caroline was cleared of the charge. In 1810, George's younger sister Amelia died and it broke his father. George III never recovered from the death of his beloved daughter and his mental health deteriorated. He would be incapacitated for the rest of his life. Parliament granted a new bill, the Regency Act of 1811, which named George as the Prince Regent. He was effectively king in all but name. George let his ministers do as they pleased in government and took on a smaller role than his father had. He established the principle of the Prime Minister being the person that was supported by the majority of Parliament, even if the monarch disagreed with the choice. It was expected that George would support the Whigs in their pursuit of Catholic emancipation, but he chose not to. In 1812, the Prime Minister Percival was assassinated and Lord Liverpool was appointed as Prime Minister. In 1814, the Electorate of Hanover was raised to a kingdom and the war in continental Europe against Napoleon I, the French Emperor, ended in a French defeat. 
In 1817, Princess Charlotte died after giving birth to a stillborn son. The death of his only legitimate child would haunt George for the rest of his life and would throw the succession into crisis. Charlotte was the only legitimate grandchild of George III and her death prompted the unmarried sons of George III to marry and try to produce a child. During his reign as the Prince Regent, George popularised a new style of clothing and housing, became known as the Regency style. In 1820, George III died and George, the Prince Regent, ascended the throne as George IV. By this point, George was obese and addicted to laudanum. George refused to recognise his estranged wife as Queen and he refused her entry for his coronation on the 19th of July 1821. He sought a divorce but decided to not go forward with the divorce as his various adulterous relationships might have come to light. On the 7th of August 1821, Caroline died. George's coronation was extravagant and cost a whopping £23 million in today's currency. For the first time since Richard II, George visited Ireland in 1821, followed by Scotland. George IV spent much of his reign in Windsor Castle. In 1827, the Prime Minister retired and George Canning became the Prime Minister. The question of the Catholic emancipation was one of the biggest dilemmas to face George IV. He was anti-Catholic. Canning died in 1827 and Lord Goderick, followed by the Duke of Wellington, both became Prime Ministers that year and the following year. Wellington knew that the emancipation would happen eventually and a Catholic relief bill was passed in 1829. However, it was not without controversy. Despite giving consent for the bill, under pressure from his anti-Catholic brother Ernest Augustus, the Duke of Cumberland, the King withdrew his approval and Cabinet resigned in protest. Under intense political pressure, the King eventually agreed to the bill and Cabinet were given back their positions. George was a heavy drinker and eater and at one point he weighed 20 stone. Later in life, he developed gout, arterial sclerosis, dropsy and porphyria. In his final years, he spent many days in bed and had difficulty breathing. To help with his pain, the king took laudanum, developing an addiction that left him in a mentally impaired state. By the end of his life, he had lost sight in one eye and was confined to bed. However, his appetite for food remained till the very end. During the early hours of the 26th of June, 1830, George IV passed away from upper gastrointestinal bleeding.